House Leader, third party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. So this is going to be interesting because every day we actually see more and more evidence that supports cancelling Site C. While the BC Liberals have been stoking fear about the impacts on jobs and economy from cancelling this project, a new report has just been released from UBC that looks at jobs numbers. This report, based on independent research, shows that cancelling Site C is actually the decision that supports workers and creates jobs. The researchers found, it's always good to read research, that cancelling Site C and pursuing an alternative portfolio of wind and conservation results in five times as many jobs as continuing. This is just one more piece. Members, members please, we shall hear the question. Evidence, not something that we're hearing a lot from the other side, but this is one more piece of evidence that shows cancelling the job is the right thing to do. If the BC Liberals were indeed true to their principles and they were actually talking about jobs, Honourable Speaker, they would also support cancelling this project. My question through you is to the Minister of Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. Why would we continue to push forward on a project that creates fewer jobs than the alternative? You know. Minister Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. Thank you, and, and, and thank you to the member for her question. And I really appreciate the point that she brings up that we need to be doing research. We need to be ensuring that... Member's right. The, Members opposite, the official opposition, aren't quite fond of research and evidence. <laughs> oh, all politics all the time. Minister. Thank you, Honourable Chair. So the, the member is correct to point out that evidence and research is what's required around Site C. And, and while it has been going on, the fact is, is that we need to hunker down, we need to sharpen our pencils and make sure that the decision that we are about to make for British Columbia and for British Columbia's future is the right decision and that it is in the best interest of British Columbians and that's what we're committed to doing. House Leader, third party on a second supplemental. First, first supplemental. That's what we used to from there. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. So let's dive a little deeper into the evidence and the research and what this UBC report tells us about Site C. First, we've learned that cancelling would create five times as many jobs. Second, we learned that the jobs would be permanent. In contrast, Site C jobs are temporary. After construction, Site C would only create 74 permanent jobs. Third, we learned that these jobs will be in communities across BC and there will be more jobs in the Peace River region by cancelling. Fourth, we learned that these jobs will be far cheaper to create. One million dollars spent on conservation spent, creates 30 jobs as opposed to only four jobs at Site C. It's a lot of data to take in, I'll let them listen. So we can't make the case for Site C based on jobs. We also know that Site C is already over budget and behind schedule. Members, thank you. We shall hear the question. Thank you. And we know that the alternatives can provide the same energy at the same cost to ratepayers. My question again to the Minister of Energy and Mines. They, they don't like the data. And petroleum resources. <laughs> data is impartial, but hey. <laughs> what rationale is there left for continuing with this project? Minister Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. And I, I think the... Um, differing views that we're hearing this uh, afternoon on question period floor actually reflects a lot of what we're seeing out in the public, where you have different experts saying different things. There's not a consensus on this very issue. What there was consensus on in British Columbia is that this should have always gone to the BC Utilities Commission. Yeah. And we've done that. And we have learned a lot from that process, Honourable Speaker, and now we're moving into a decision-making phase where we're going to be looking at the variety of information that has been accumulated over the years on Site C. And the most important, most important aspect of this decision 
is that we make it in the best interest of British Columbians so that we are keeping rates affordable and we are ensuring that BC Hydro works for British Columbians every single day.